happy guinea pig! Hi, I'm Eileen. Welcome to my kitchen. And today I'm making something I've never made before. No. I've always wanted to try. It's Indian fry bread. And I've seen it made uh, on multiple videos. Hey, Ryan, don't laugh at us. <laughs> Miss Joy, please don't laugh at me. Right. Um, Indiana Chris, I, I saw yours that you tagged Aaron in on uh, Facebook, and it looked good. But um, I've had this recipe now for, oh, my goodness. Buku Long time. Buku, you're probably longer than Piggy and I have been together. Right. And uh, I've always wanted to try it. Never really done so. But today I'm making it. Hopefully I'm making it. Now the ingredients it calls for are three cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one cup of warm water, and then vegetable oil for frying. Okay. Hey, man, the powder, man. <laughs> so, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my flour, because it says to combine the flour, the baking powder, and the salt all together. So, what I'm going to do is just put all that in a sieve and stitch it together. It makes it easier on me. Alright. And before I get started, I guess I need to get... This right here, y'all. Got to get my little red doohickey there. Good, yeah, you don't know. Yeah, it's that little red doohickey there. Y'all don't watch it. I'm, I'm out to get myself whooped. But, uh, after reading the directions, it seems fairly simple on making them. As far as making up dough, it's almost like making up biscuit dough, only you don't have any lard or oil or anything in it. And the only oil that you have, or fat you have, is what you actually cook it in. Okay, get this right here. You see, it's yeah, right. pretty soon y'all gonna be seeing this work with something new in the knife department. Yeah. Piggy and I decided we're going to... Uh, he just got uh, I decided we need some new knives. Y'all. The ones we've had, I bought right before we got married. And... Uh, they're not full tang. They're, they're nice knives for what they are. But they're not full tang. We've already had one to break on it. And... Uh, I'm just... I was looking some full tang knives and ordered some and they are self sharpening knives which Piggy loves the idea that we were reading it and we both oh, like yeah, that. That's, that's a good feature. Yeah. And what we will do is when we get them in we will explain what the self sharpening feature is and go over what and, we and, got. And, and before anybody gets upset that we did trust me we're going to pay more than they're worth because we're getting them through finger hut. Yeah. Like I said, we'll, we'll do a uh, unboxing on that and then do the review and all that other. Piggy here, can give me this. Give me, give me. Okay. Okay, into the bowl. We combine the flour, the baking powder, and the salt. Gradually add the warm water, stirring until the dough comes together. Well, y'all, this is my mixer. You know, my hand. I, I, I like the idea of doing that. And we've got warm water here. This is gradually add stirring. Well, I'm stirring with my hand until the dough comes together. Kind of reminds me of making tortillas without the uh, baking powder. But I mean, it, it could be similar to tortillas, I guess. Dough comes together then. Okay. 
started all the noise earlier, folks. I got water running. I turned it down some so it wouldn't be so loud. Taking all this incorporated. I'm going to say it's a little dry in there. Okay, I'm just trying to get all that incorporated into my dough. I get all this flour and everything incorporated in. And then I will put it out on a lightly dusted, or lightly flour dusted surface and knead it for about five minutes. And then it's got to set, right? We're going to have to set covered for 30 minutes. All right. And that's basically the same way you make tortillas. As you mix it all together and uh, once you get everything incorporated, get it kneaded for a little bit, then you will let it sit for 30 minutes. So. When I get ready to knead this, I'm going to have Piggy put this on that time lapse. And we'll do it that way. That way we don't sit here and take up five solid minutes of me doing nothing but kneading. Okay. And it says here, knead the dough on a floured surface until smooth for about five minutes. Well, you need to do that. I guess you need to do it. Yep. Move this right here over here out of the way. You need to knead. You need to get it on there. So while I'm getting this set up, we're going to have Piggy set this up on the hyperspeed thingy. I know, folks. I'm corny. Yes, you are. Okay, I got it needed. Hopefully I got it needed enough, I don't know. We'll see. So I gotta cut. Somebody it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna cover it and let it sit for 30 minutes, and then when I come back, I'll separate it out and get it ready to fry. So uh, let me get some plastic wrap and put over this. I'm just going to leave this covered right here, on this right here, and I'll set me a timer for 30 minutes. Let me get this going here. Alright, we got it started, and we'll be back in about 30 minutes to get finished up on this. Duh, huh? Alright, yeah, we're back. Got a little bit of flour there. Now comes time to cut and fry. Cut and fry. So I've got my cast iron skillet here. It cuts out about an inch of oil. I'm about maybe about three quarters of an inch. Half three quarters in there. Um, Alright. See what it says to do here, y'all. It says uh, divide the dough into small balls. Then flatten each ball into a disc about one fourth inch thick. Heat a large skillet with about one inch of vegetable oil over medium heat, which is what I've got going right now. Then you're going to fry each piece of dough for two to three minutes on each side or until golden brown. Then you drain on paper towels and serve warm. Okay. Now I have my paper towels underneath my rack right there. I just like doing that with the racks a lot better than just putting it directly on the paper towel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this dough. Cut it! And I will actually cover it with my plastic wrap once I get it cut. And I'll probably get about roughly maybe eight of these I think. Well, I might be 
be able to get more than that because there's some of these going to be a little bit bigger. So it says small. So we Maybe. Might get... It is. We'll see. We might... about, I think 11 is auntie. So we'll see. I'm sure those of y'all on there that know Espanol will uh, crawl my hide for getting it wrong if I did. That's all right. And we're just going to... And I'll make these into little balls so I try to get them all cut. I, I used to know my numbers up to 20 in Espanol. I know 20 is bank thing. Yeah, my average in Spanish class when I was in school was, I think, a D. My Spanish teacher told me, she said, you can comprehend it better than you can do the written part of it. And I could. I mean, I, I admit it. Well, I learned what I learned from the Mexican ladies that worked with us when I worked at this one place. And uh, most of them weren't exactly uh, supposed to be here. But the thing was, couldn't get nobody else to do the job. Men wouldn't do it. One type of man just flat out wouldn't do it. Uh, another flavor of men saw it as women's work. Uh, most of the Hispanic men definitely didn't really want to do it. They saw it as women's work. So it was women that would do it, but anyway, I learned most of what I came to know and have forgot most of now from them. Boy, I stuck my foot in my mouth one night. Big time. I'll tell y'all about that sometime. Well, I'll tell you right now, it's been 40 years since I was in Spanish class. Yep, so you had actual class, so it stuck with you better. Some of it did, but considering I've never had practical application of it. That's why I'm saying it stuck with you better. I didn't say it all stuck. Some did, some didn't. You'll see, I'm just kind of putting these in, roll these in little balls here. Just kind of? Yeah, and I might be doing this wrong, y'all. I don't know. This is the first time I've made these. I'm kind of, since it's kind of like a tortilla dough for me, I'm kind of making it like I would make my tortillas up. Well, if you are, I'm sure that Air Run and Joy will give you some very uh, good constructive criticism. Hopefully. All about it. And hey, that's part of it. I enjoy the constructive criticism because it helps me to learn and be a better cook. Yeah. I watch this one dude. And uh, he, he was rebuilding his 40-year-old four-wheeler, a Moto 4. What was it, Kawasaki? Anyway, he was rebuilding it, and I was saying things. I don't know that much about mechanics, but I was saying things he needed to do, but he was trying to get by that without doing it. And I told him a couple of times, and, and the last time, he, he finally commented back to me. He said, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. But, yeah, I, I had to tell you, there's a, blue, there's a blue tinge of smoke coming out in that smoke. That's rings. Told him he needed to seat the valves, too, but yeah. told him I didn't know if he'd seated them or not, but if he hadn't, he might want to. But uh, he got it running, though. He got it looking nice. But he got a lot of advice and constructive criticism and stuff in his comments, which helped him to complete the task of rebuilding and, and restoring that little Moto 4. SB Thunder Road, that's a shout out to you, dude. I enjoyed that series. Piggy has a lot of different ones he likes watching. I watch Saul Millen. I watch SB. He, he, he likes to restore uh, 60s models boats, sailboats. Mm -hmm. Man, they look nice when he's done. Uh, what else do I watch? 
Okay, we watch Jeebus when we, when we can. We watch fishing channels. We watch cooking channels. We watch homesteading channels. We just watch a little bit Reaction of action channels. And, yeah. Uh, some music. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> that uh, Oliver Anthony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That, that man sung out and he was instant gold. Oh, yeah. He's got some good music. He really does. Well, he was singing music like it used to be sung. He was talking about the times and what's going on, what's going on and what ain't right, you know, and all that. Put that there. Let me get another one going. It's going to take a minute for that to fully heat up. No, I'm just dog jacking while she ain't because sometimes she'll get focused on something. So I'll fill in yeah. when she's focused. She okay. does the same thing for me on mine. Yeah. I'm just trying I'll, to make sure. That, Pete, we have my thermometer. I'm going to see how hot that oil is. Your thermometer? Yeah, my thermometer. <laughs> Put a little bit of flour right there. Okay. There we go. Y'all, this is probably one of the best investments I've made for my kitchen. I like this little thermometer. Folks, everything she's gotten for this kitchen to do what she does, as far as I'm concerned, is the best investment she's made, each one of them. For a reason. Well, they serve, they're practical, they're functional. They serve a purpose. They serve a real good purpose. Good cooking. I'm saying. Well, it's steadily going up. We're almost at 200. We're at 189, 190. So we'll let that set for just a minute, and we'll try it one more time. 190, do I hear 200? We're getting there. It, it, it was going up, and it was steadily going up. Get a couple of these right here made out. These probably will be the biggest. Fry breads. I don't know. I don't know how big they're supposed to actually be, but it's at about a fourth of an inch, and that's about where I've got them. I got that one. If things pan out for the next couple of weeks, I'll get busy on that little project you wanted. Yeah. And as we said, if we if it comes to a question, I don't know where it went. I don't know what to do. Yeah, we uh, we've got several things to do the next couple of weeks if things pan out for us to be able to oil change. Yeah, we've got oil change the first part of next week, and then uh, we'll be doing. Uh, we 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 will be doing some rearranging. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna put the bedroom in one of the other in the other room, so that when the uh, infinite wisdom types go to working on that other wall, it won't be directly underneath us. Right. Heat that up and I'll put it back down. We're gonna roll out a few more of these. Tell you what, Piggy and I will be back when this gets up to temperature, and I'm just gonna be sitting here rolling out these ready to fry. Roll them out, and here we go again. Okay, we're gonna put a couple of these in. I got my tortilla press out because it made it easier to press these out. We're gonna see how these do. Yeah, they're bubbling, so hopefully they'll work good. Bubble, bubble. Piggy said these right here are more along the lines of a quarter of an inch than those others were, so they're probably a little bit smaller. I don't know. I'll just straight, stretch them out. Yeah, just you a see how bit. that one's not bubbling up like yeah. that one is. Right. I may not know how to cook, but I'll notice this something every once in a while. Well, these right here, th that is a little okay. bit thinner than those. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's thinner. That might be why it needs to be quarter inch. Yeah. 
So if you want those to be more round, more circumference, you probably not needed to the, not cut them so small to make bigger balls. Yeah. Well, it said small, so I mean, I, I went about what it said on there, small balls. Yeah, but like you, I said, the thing is, is you, you got those ones yeah. half the thickness of what it says. Yeah, yeah. Because that's got to be at least eighth of an inch. This is a learning curve for me and for Petey and for probably several others. And that's it coming off the tortilla press up there. Two to three minutes. This is about or until golden. Put that back where it was. I'll go ahead and get these out. And go. And trust me, folks. Y'all think I'm gruff for having said it like that. Trust me. When I'm doing something and I've got something off. She does not fail to let me know and call my attention to it. But thing on that is I'd rather stand corrected and go right and remain wrong and keep spinning my wheels. Well, if you keep getting it wrong, you ain't never going to get it right. Right. I know I ain't perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm a long way from perfect. And uh, it's no dig on me if somebody sees better than I do about something. There is going to be my tester because that there's a little on the thick side. I couldn't get that to thin out. Anyway, that, I don't that probably Charlie's. Well, I have no idea what it's supposed to look like, so. Well, it's supposed to be golden brown. I got that part. I'm talking about texture, shape, yeah. all that. That's right. I don't know that I am, but we shall see. Him and Joe will let you know. Yeah. I probably should let my oil get a little bit hotter or have more oil. I don't know, but there's a lot of oil in there as it is. Tell you what, Piggy and I will come back real quick. I'm going to press out the rest of these. And once this gets done, like I said, it said two to three minutes. It might take a little bit longer on the first batch, then we'll see. All right. Yeah, I've got a few already cooked up. I'm learning. I'm learning. And uh, there goes. I got those already done. I'm hoping that's the way they're supposed to be done. These things are popping up like a pita pocket in here. I guess that's maybe what's supposed to be done with them. We'll yeah. find out from the comments. Yeah. Aaron, let me know. Am I doing this right? Am I doing it wrong? I'm probably doing it wrong. If yeah. we are, where are we messing up? If, 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 either way, y'all, this is Indian fried bread my way, and my first time cooking it. Well, now, you know Aaron's going to tell you there ain't but one way to do it, Indian fried bread. <laughs> and, and, and him and Joy will let you know about it. Yeah. So what we're going to do, I've got these in the skillet to finish up, plus four more over here. And once I get them all cooked, we'll be back, and we'll taste these and see how I did. Okay, y'all? All right! Y'all, I think I finally figured it out after I got about halfway through. Da, 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 These are da. the last ones. This one and this one were the first ones I done. So, you know, it's a learning process. That was one of the first ones. Well, you can hand me that one. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a picture of them right there. These will all get eaten. Don't get me wrong, y'all. 
little on chewy side piggy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But piggy, get me a picture of that one right there. Got it. Got it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set these right here. And it says eat these while they're warm, so I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these. It's been out for a few minutes. Well, oh, wow. you'll have an easier time with it. Yeah. I think you'll have an easier time. Because you got all your teasies. Yeah. It's a little oil in it. Yeah, that, it's supposed to be like a pocket is what it is, I think. Like I said, we got those who know that'll let you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. It actually got a good flavor. I like it. You can chew on it a while. Mm-hmm. It's good. Especially me. He can go and exert off all of his calories before he ever gets finished eating. Hey, that's a, that's a benefit. Hmm. Well, y'all, again, that's my fry bread. My first time at making fry bread, and believe me, that's going to be the title, first time making Indian fry bread. Pass and fail. I did a little both. I failed first well, few, passed on the like last Like I one. reminded you, this is all about experimenting, trying different things. Hence, my name, Happy Guinea Pig. That's it. And y'all, just goes to show, when you first few don't turn out so great, don't mean the rest of them won't turn out good, just keep going. Right. I mean, if you got a kitty cat and puppy dog, you can always feed the first ones to them. <laughs> and they will. Oh, yeah. Well, I thank y'all very much for watching. I hope y'all have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Work, Bye, y'all.